how Dunedin residents get to work, which routes they take and how often they travel is part of a groundbreaking survey. It's costing $149,000, about two-thirds of which is being funded by the New Zealand Transport Agency. Dunedin ratepayers are covering the rest. It's called the Household Travel Survey and it involves getting information, travel information from a certain number of households in Dunedin so that we can find out how people are choosing to travel. GPS devices like this one are given to each adult in the 325 selected households. They carry them around for one week and they fill in paper surveys to detail their reasons for travel. It's more useful than the census data which just gives us a one-off snapshot um, on census day of how people got to work um, and yeah, the routes they take and so on. The survey's never been done in New Zealand but has had good results in Australia and the United States. Data will be used to update the council's traffic modelling so staff can better predict and cater to residents' needs. And the council should have all the raw information by the end of the year. So there's a few more stages to go through. Um, once they've done the initial analysis, though, we'll hopefully be able to get some statistics, you know, what percentage of people use this mode, that mode, um, and see if there's any difference from the census. The NZTA is also interested in the data, and Connolly says it could change the way all sorts of things are done locally. But the Ministry of Transport are, are interested in, in how it goes, really, and what the quality of the data is like. Um, we're quite confident because it has been used successfully overseas. Rosie Mannins, 39, Dunedin News.